Okay, now we can we now we start to load ink from ink tank to ink damper. And before we install the we load the ink to damper, we need to use the teaser and wiper and the make a small size to put at the both side of the print head cable to protect that the ink that flush to the print head port to cause the print head damage just for backup for safety. Out for print head cable, do it the same way. Okay, so put four tissue, one, two, three, four, at the printing head port to prevent the ink flush to the printing head cable. So now we start to load the color ink printing head. We start to load uh, the white ink to the white ink tank. So before we fill the white ink, we need to Power on the machine, <clears throat> and be sure this is off first. Then start to power on the machine. And check all the connection is good without loosen. And then we can start to push the white ink secretion. Push down. And waiting for 15 seconds, the ink will secretion and pump the ink from the white ink tank to the sub white ink tank. And then go back again to the ink tank. Inside there's a time controller to control the times for secretion and for pump. <clears throat> so we're now, we're now just waiting. It will start to pump the ink secretion every 15 minutes to pump about 60 seconds. Every 15 seconds to pump about 60 seconds. And this button, you need to open it every time you start to use the machine and doing to use the machine. Just means keep this button on for always. Now the pump is working. And ink, white ink go to the pump, to, to the white ink, white ink sub tank. And right now you must be sure all the damper is installed. But it's not enough, so we, we're waiting for another time. Maybe I start to pump again. <coughs> so just waiting 15 seconds more.
then start pump again. Just feeding. Then ink go back. This one go back to the ink tank ready. And waiting for another time, the ink will go to the tubes. Then pump it again, the water ink go to the damper. Okay, and then the, be sure the ink tank is full and the ink can go, go to the tuber and also another tuber can go back, circulation back to the tank, then we can start to load the ink to the ink damper by hand by the injection the first time. You only need to do this the first time when you install the machine. After your all the ink go to the damper ready, you can no, you don't need to do this step anymore. So we just uh, need to close the white ink secretion. We can go to We close it, and then we pop off the machine. <coughs> then we start to <coughs> load the ink. Then we find the brand new injection. Each color use each one, one brand new injection. And right now, also be sure that machine is powered off. Then we start to load the color print head, the color ink damper. We take it out and we hold the damper by this way, by this way. Please again cannot hold damper back this way because he has breathing breathing bubble breathing bubble film. If you hold back this way, after you fill the ink, the value is open, switch is open, the ink will flush out to damage and make your machine dirty and faulty. So please please hold the in damper by this way and connect brand new injection with the damper. And Hold damper by this way with a little bit top and fear. Be sure there's no air bubbles inside the damper. Make sure it's full. Then it install back the damper to the white ink print head and push to the bottom and make it fasten, no shaking. And then we fill the second one by the same way. We install bike. Be sure, be careful. The ink will do not make the spread out. 
to damage the print head cable. Be sure there's no air bubbles coming out. It's full of ink. That we feel the last one. Be sure there's no air bubbles coming out. I mean, hold the damper by this way, or the top. Install back to the ink print head. And double check again, each damper installed where fasten, not loosen, and put to the bottom already. So this is the method to load the white ink to the print head. Then we can start to load ink to the color print head. We also find a, another brand new injection. <clears throat> First we load the back. We pour the ink by injection by the same way. Then we install back. And another brand new. Start to lose all the cyan. Just uh, pour out about five milliliter. See, that's where we let you to take the glue. It will not make your finger dirty.
and you love your wife will love you for always because your finger is clean. Then we feel the same way to load another station. And make it clean. Then we feel the magenta. Use another brand new injection also. Then we install back to print head. And one more. Then we feel the last one, yellow. And be sure it's clean. No ink dropping out. Then we install back. Okay, so this is the, all the procedure to load the ink from the ink tank to white ink print head and color print head and double check again to be sure it's not loosened for each or the damper. So this is the old procedure. Next, after we load the ink to the, print, to the ink damper, but right now the print head is still empty. So lots of, lots of friends ask must be why I load the ink to the ink damper, but when I print, I still cannot get anything to print out. Because you only need only load ink to damper, but right now the print head inside is still empty, no ink. So of course when print is print nothing. So next step is to how to load the ink from the ink damper to print head, and then go to the cap station, then go to the waste ink tank. Okay, see you next time. Bye.